Welcome to this webinar. Before we start, we have an important update to share around the decoupling of assessments, which was not known at the time of recording this webinar. In July 2023, the Institute for Apprenticeships and Technical Education, IFATE, introduced the option for centres to decouple the first year assessments. Decoupling is the removal of the requirement to sit both the core exams and the employer set project in the first attempt of sitting the core components. Core components on all T-level qualifications consist of two subcomponents: the core exam and the core employer set project. The core exam incorporates two core theory papers. Previously, students were required to attempt both of these in the same series when first attempting the core component and could then resit them separately in future series if needed. Just a reminder here that the core assessment consists of two papers both papers need to be undertaken in the same assessment window as the two core papers equates to the core theory assessment as a whole. Decoupling means that there is no longer a requirement to attempt both the employer set project and the core theory exam in the same series when first sitting the core component. And instead, students can attempt just one, an example, the employer set project, then attempting the other, example, the core theory exam for the first time in a different series. So how can this benefit my students? IFATE received evidence from providers delivering the first T levels, which has shown that there may be more flexibility to meet students' needs if students were able to take the core exams and the employer set project in different assessment series from the first attempt. For example, if students enter for just the ESP in the summer series and the exams in the autumn series, this may free up more time in the first year for development of practical specialist skills. This approach gives flexibility to focus on one subcomponent within the first series and removes the requirement that both must be attempted at the same time. This may be of benefit to providers who wish to structure their study accordingly, or for students who may feel that attempting both exams and an employee set project in the same series would not allow them to perform at their best. However, Please be aware that decoupling the assessments may reduce the number of guided learning hours which can be offered around the occupational specialism in the second year of delivery. So what is the best practice or recommended approach? Whilst decoupling does allow flexibility for providers and students, both subcomponents do still need to be completed by every student and the number of opportunities each year to complete these is not changing. Previous recommended best practice was to complete both subcomponents in the summer of year one, using autumn of year two as a reset opportunity and leaving the summer of year two for the occupational specialism and as a contingency for the core if needed. Providers must ensure that they are fully considering the possible unintended consequences of decoupling that may disadvantage their students. For example, attempting the employer set project in the summer of year one and the core exams in autumn of year two gives only one opportunity for reset for the core exam. And that would be at the same time as the occupational specialism in summer of year two. It also means that there is less contingency built into the plan if the student is unable to attempt the core exams in the autumn. Can we sit the core exam papers in different series? Unfortunately not. Both core exam papers must be sat together in the same assessment series, even if the learner was retaking. Please bear this information in mind when listening to the following recording. 